Hello, welcome back to the studio. In today's video, I'm going to share my third sketchbook tour with you. This is an A4 Stillman & Burn Zeta series sketchbook, which took me just over a year and a half to finish. It took me so long because I broke my own guidelines and started a whole bunch of sketchbooks all at the same time. But the good news is you'll be able to see a whole bunch of sketchbook tours coming up soon. In the past, the Stillman & Burn sketchbooks have been my favorite sketchbooks to use because they have very smooth paper that's nice and thick for using watercolor. However, recently I have found that the cellulose paper in Stillman & Burn sketchbooks is uh, doesn't really do with a lot of layering, so in this sketchbook I ended up pasting in a lot of different papers, as you'll see. If you're new here, welcome! My name is Lee. I'm a botanical and natural science illustrator based in Kitchener, Waterloo, Canada. On this channel, I share watercolor techniques and tips and some insights into my daily life as an illustrator. If this is content that you're interested in, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. On this first spread, we have um, some work from a workshop that I attended with Wesley Bates on wood engraving. Um, and so on the left, we have my finished engraving, and on the right, we have some of my sketching and process for getting to that engraving. In these next couple pages, we have a, an example of a limited palette that I built. I called this the Challenger palette, and it's an interesting range of uh, colors that I thought would challenge me to paint in a different way. And I really like the mixes that I can make with these six colors. I really enjoyed painting a few sketches with this palette. I'll leave a link to a blog post where I discussed this down below. On the next two pages, on the left, I have some swatches from uh, a selection of Old Holland watercolors, which I tested out. And then on the right, I've got a sketch of a zebra that I sketched at the ROM. Um, so this is sketched from a museum display. On the next page, on the left, I've got a paste-in of the first Roman Schmal Aquarius watercolors that I tested out. And on the right, I've got a paste-in, well, a tape-in of a ink sketch that I did of the factory across the street. And underneath, I've got some uh, thumbnail sketches from a workshop that I taught. On the next page, I've got some color mix demonstrations. Again, this is from a workshop that I taught. And on the right, I've got uh, a sketch demonstration that I did for that same class. On the next page, I've got some perspective lessons that I was teaching for a class. Again, on the next page, I was um, experimenting with drawing spiral structures in uh, on the left on the next page I've got uh, some primary triad color wheels that I made for a video which I'll link up above and on the right I've got some preparation for a, a large commission that I did last year next I've pasted in some uh, <laughs> Uh, color mixing and swatching sheets from a video that I made. I'll leave that whole series linked up above. This was on building a palette. And then we're back to a uh, class that I taught. In this case, we were sketching animals from life. So this was sketching ducks and I was demonstrating a bunch of things to the class. So uh, these are just some doodles from that class that I was teaching. On the next page, we've got that same commission from earlier. Um, there was a sample that I sent to the client. Next, I've got some preparation for a class that I was teaching. This was on textures and pen and ink. This was actually for a children's class, and I was loosely basing myself on some material from pen and ink sketching by um, Alfonso Dunn. I'll leave a link to that book down below, um, but this is my own material that I was developing loosely based on that. On the next page on the left, I've got some more preparation for that same um, large commission that I was doing. On the right, I've got a whole bunch of different things. Um, on the next page on the left, I've got 
a sketch of uh, Catnip Nipetakataria, which I did for a video collaboration with Ev Bolt. I'll leave that link up above. And on the right, I've got a sketch of a sunflower. And then down below, I've got um, one piece of a commission that I did for Chatelaine magazine. Um, and I was traveling at the time, so it's on a little notepad from the Wyndham uh, Hotel. On the next page, you'll see the rest of that commission. So uh, there are the drafts on the left and the finished drawings on the right, although of course I did edit uh, digitally afterwards. So this was all done while I was at a conference at the American Society of Botanical Artists about a year ago. Next, uh, because I was at that conference at the time when I was doing all of these things, um, this is actually a workshop that I took with an artist at the conference, John Pastorisa Pignon, um, and so this was some sketching from that workshop. Next, we've got another workshop that I taught. So I was teaching a watercolor painting workshop and discussing limited palettes and mixing colors within a limited palette. So I did a demonstration of a painting of um, one of my childhood stuffed animals, a little yellow duck, and I was using a palette that was very limited and in fact didn't have any true yellow to paint this yellow duck with. On the left, I've got another painting that I did for a video. This was uh, one of my Senelier videos. I will link up above. And on the right, I've got some swatches of Roman Schmal Aquarius colors, which I swatched in a video, which I'll link up above. On the left, I've got a paste-in of a skull that I sketched for a workshop I was teaching, and down below, a paste-in of um, an ink drawing of some dinosaur feet. On the right, I've got some preparation for <laughs> painting of a Romanesco cauliflower and some color mixing for it. On the next page, we've got some demonstrations for a class. This was a children's class that I was teaching and we were using some dinosaur Schleich models uh, to draw basic shapes of anatomy. So I was demonstrating with a bunch of the different models. On the next page, we've got that same class, uh, only in this case, we're focusing on scribbling in basic forms instead of drawing outlines um, and also, you know, getting our hands moving. On the next page, I've got a completed commission for the Office of Human Rights, Equity and Inclusion at the University of Waterloo. They commissioned a digital painting, so I've got the original pasted in here, and on the right, I've got some uh, packaging from Roman Schmal Aquarius watercolors. These are the original painted labels. On the next page, on the left, I've got some um, very rough planning for a coloring page commission that I did for the city of Kitchener um, and some other uh, wildflower sketches. Uh, there was more of that on the right page, but it was really ugly, so I pasted in a painting that I wasn't going to sell. On the next page, I've actually got a uh, finished page for that um, City of Kitchener Commission. It looks really rough and there's all this white oak because I actually ended up doing a lot of the work digitally. And on the right, I've got the beginnings of a sketch for a Wild Ginger Commission. On the left, I've got some color mixing uh, swatches with my new palette. And finally, on the very, very back page, I've got a uh, paint along with me from Ev Bolt's um, Catterday live stream. Thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell so that you'll be notified when my next video comes out. Thank you. Bye-bye.